Wow, first grouse of the year. Oh baby, they're almost never right here. I didn't expect that at all. It's, it's right next to a, you know, open water. Once in a great while they come down to drink water off the, uh, like the open spots when the creeks freeze up. That's awesome. It's so hard to get grouse around here. Yes! Man. Man, am I excited. Be ready. There could always be another. Let's see. Where'd he go? I saw him fall. Man, he flushed right next to me. I was just working around over there to hit that spot. Working around the pond to try and not spook him if I walked on the pond wall. I was just moving spot to spot. Definitely didn't expect that. Just gotta find where he went now. It might take a minute. Oh baby. Sometimes it's hard to get him on camera too, but that was probably on camera. He flushed like 10 feet away from me over an open swampy field thing. I'm so excited I forgot where he fell. I've gotten a, a good amount of grouse before, but I've never gotten one on camera. I think this might be like number seven or something. I get like one a year, because they're just so hard to... Lately, I end up walking like through three miles of good habitat for every one I flush. And then usually I... I uh, only... Um, I completely forgot where he went. <laughs> usually I... Uh, only see one out of every few that I flush, you know, or maybe one out of every five, because the habitat's usually so thick. It usually isn't like this. This is going to take a minute. I totally forgot to mark him when he fell. Just got excited. I'm going to find him, though. Hell or high water. These grouse have been acting weird though. They've been in places that I've never seen them in the last eight years or whatever. You know? Like, they've been in this stretch a lot, which is strange. They usually don't do that. Usually they're in the thicker stuff. Man, that was... <laughs> I've had... I had a couple of easy... Some flapping around over there. Is he way over there? Maybe I winged him and he ran. Definitely fell though. He definitely didn't fall over here. If he is over here, he like ran or something. <sighs> Shoot, where'd he go? I just heard something over here. Come on. I definitely hit him. He, cr he crumpled and fell. Come on, where are you? Even though it's a squirrel or something. Kind of sounded like flapping though. Shoot. Where'd he go? Gotta look around carefully. If he did run, there should be tracks. I didn't see any running though. That might have been a squirrel. Jeez. This always happens. It's so hard to hunt grouse without dogs. This is like, I've probably gotten like seven grouse or so, but at least two of them, this exact thing happened. I never found them, even though I swear I nailed them. You know, after looking for a really long time. So much easier with dogs. Wish I had a dog right now. 
find my grouse for me. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? There, grouse. Those mm, might be grouse tracks, but they're probably from earlier. I saw them like crumple on the edge of the field or something. This is kind of dumb. Flapping in the woods there. All right, I'm just gonna comb over this field systematically till I find it. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna find this bird. I refuse to not find it. I want it. <laughs> Might be easier just to go back, review the footage, see where it fell, and then <laughs> remember. And then if it did fall there, I could try and track it. Might have to do that. Shot at it over there. It fell somewhere in here. Wow, this is kind of ridiculous. It might be running. I've had that happen sometimes, or not sometimes, but a couple times. Definitely at least once for sure. I had a grouse run really far away from me. And actually, I had it happen a couple times. Now that I remember. Now that I think about it. Some, one time through pine trees and one time just through open trees. Tons of grouse tracks. Just running away instead of flying. If I, if I nicked him in the wing, maybe he ran. I don't know. I didn't see him running, though. But... I don't know if I nicked him in the wing. Alright, time to check the edge, because I don't see him in the field. He flew out that way and he, I'm pretty sure it was on that half. Oh man. See him in there. I completely forgot where he was. Where he landed by now. So I'm just gonna check everywhere. Must have ran for it or something. Like that. I'm gonna find. I swear 
I thought I just heard one. <laughs> Gotta find you, grouse. I hope. Edge. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> yes, right here. So he, he flew out and then I shot him and he swooped back in. I remember him being on this half, He's just blending in with the stuff. Bam, one rough grouse. First one on video. Look at that. That is like the ultimate trophy around here. So hard to find them. There's places with a lot better uh, grouse hunting in here, but here's decent, but it's just so hard to get a flush. Especially lately, I think they're on a downward spiral. You know, the cycle, the population, I mean. That is a nice grouse. I've gotten him a little bigger, but that's a that's a nice one. A lot of meat on him. That's really exciting. All right, so I didn't wing him. I I nailed him good. I just pain in the butt without a dog. They just blend in like that. See, it's you got to look over everywhere to find them. Look at that tail fan. Oh baby, I'm excited. This is usually what I go hunting for when I hunt, and I just get squirrels and rabbits. You know, I'll, I'll take them too, but these are like, these are the ultimate, ultimate game animal for me around here, for a small game hunter, I think. Nothing's harder than these things around here to hit and to get a good flush at, especially without a dog. Give, them a, give you a good look at them for you. That's really exciting. First grouse of the year. I am pumped. Let's go see if I can get a second over here. <laughs> 